Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Into the Breach. I gotta be honest, four islands within grasp. I hate this squad. Frig! <laughs> I actually, I started this episode and my whole game plan, I swear to God, was let's go for the three island victory. Here we are, going for our fourth island. I don't know, man. My thinking is, our freeze ability is just so good. That maybe it's worth it. What kind of mech are you? You're a shell mech? Or shell uh, scion, I should say? Get these burrowers out of here. Can I actually even hurt the burrowers? Because they have armor. It's a shell. Scion. Wow. Well, we could freeze. We hit everything but one unit. What do we do about you, though? We gotta push you around. Well, we will. Well, we will. Wow, this is a weird one. It's like you can move every unit down one. It'll free a robot. But then at least we have some clearance to move around. I think that actually might be like our only way forward. Oh, it made the mech disappear. There is a god. Okay. Um, Do we get buildings immune on you? I know I say this every freaking time. But now look at this. This guy comes down here. Throws out the world's dirtiest freeze. <laughs> oh my god. He freezes everything. Including our own mech, which is pretty terrible. Maybe it's great, actually, in hindsight. I almost feel like you just move... Uh, here is actually good. You get a lot of, like, m ability to move here. Ice to see you? What do you do? Dude, I have no idea. You could have gotten the time pod, which probably would have been a better play. But you still got two units. I really would prefer... For the robot to not free any units. But I don't know if we can finesse that. Zero damage. That's the problem, isn't it? And it's the coal plant. I just hate you. You're a, you're a annoying, and you're a problem. Mind you, I mean, like, there's one solution. We'd lose the coal plant for certain, though. But it would move us closer to blocking a Vec from spawning. What on earth do you do? Shoot your own mech. Nope. Shoot here. Kill the robot. Kills your own mech. Pretty bad. Just horrible. Kill the Shell Scion. But it'll lead to the creation of another Blobber. This is horrible. 
Because I'm like, if I don't... I can't freeze this. No shield generator. It's not like I can move the building. Um, this guy really had to get frozen, huh? It's like, we can't even break our own boy out of the ice without killing him. We certainly don't want to, I don't think we want to break the blob out of the ice. What have we done? This is just horrible. Anton? I'm very sorry. But I never had a choice. Merciless. Now we still have considerable problems. <laughs> Oh, thank God. This guy has chosen just to free things from the ice. Which is perfect, because now actually we're fine. We're going to complete all of our objectives, except maybe the time pod. But Because we can make this guy disappear and not free things from the ice. Just by freeing the psionic vec. And the psionic vec is irrelevant. In fact, we can just kill the psionic vec and also block another spawn. Please, God, don't attack the coal plants, because there's almost nothing I can do to stop him. Okay, if he's going to hit two buildings, he's going to hit two buildings. Oh, wait, there's no shell vac anymore. So, honestly, like, I hate to say it, but... Shoot one building to save two buildings. If we hit here, it's the same business. Hit here, it's the same business. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. I can live with it. We're still going to be at full grid power. And honest, how much damage do you do? How much damage do you do normally? One? That's embarrassing. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. End turn. So obviously, like, I'm disappointed that we lost our, our pilot, but I really did not see other moves. It, turn one was bad. We should not have handled turn one the way that we did. After handling turn one the way we did, I think that this was the only way that we get through this mission, keeping the chance for a perfect island alive. Fires a missile barrage that hits every enemy on the map. It seems really good, except we don't really want to ice an enemy up. Anyway, we got an AI pilot. Don't we have an AI pilot? I thought we had an AI pilot. Anyway, you still have the same abilities that you had before. Really feel like... Maybe giving you... Plus one damage on our artillery is our best option here. Freeze and defend both robots and protect the defense lab. Block Vex spawning. Let's start Glacier Cliff. Now we can actually throw our pilot away. Now I'm not saying we should, but we can. And I still, for whatever reason, feel like we're in an okay situation here. We're looking for a killer freeze. Uh, it would be really nice to freeze the blobber. So if we could, like, leave one robot 
and do something like this. Yeah, I'd be I'd be happy, I think, with that. So this guy would have to go. That's a surprisingly easy move. You come here, shoot here, stop him. Now what do you do? Because you could also like just as easily kill a unit. Are you safe from the freezing here? No. Where on earth are you safe? Do I want you to be safe uh, from the freezing. If I just walk you back a tile? Well, if it freezes this robot, we don't have to shoot it. Does it really freeze everything on the map? Or it gets them all. I think you just... Do that? And then, like, get ready to attack wherever this guy chooses to go. And that's really your turns right there. We do need to block Vex spawning. We're only doing one right now. A Shell Scion came out. Annoying, but otherwise irrelevant. Okay, this mission's probably fine. Our War of Attrition has worked. Nice to pin one of the Vec for once. What are you talking about? That's all I've done. <laughs> in my entire life playing this game. That's been like my only defense with the Steel Judoka. Incredible. Well, that's like a two-minute mission. That'll work. Plus zero XP. <laughs> uh, okay. We're probably not going to break five buildings out of the ice, so we really don't want to do that. Take less than three grid damage is extremely easy. But freeze and defend both robots? Let's give it a shot, dude. This guy has to get frozen. He has to. So, we're going to put him here. Knowing this guy's going to burrow and probably attack a building, we're going to try to bait as many attacks deep into the grid as we can here. You know, there's actually another way out. We can freeze him with the freeze tank instead. A freeze tank. Do, 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 do. Freeze tank. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I was on a Sunday from day. Anyway, we know you need to be frozen. Right, it's a good move, except it doesn't. It doesn't stop the robots. The robots still a problem. So moving everything down one tile really does nothing, unfortunately. We can shoot and knock this guy out of the way, and we would like to. It's a really, like, it's a tough turn, turn one, I'm going to be honest with you. It's an extremely good freeze. You live, which I hate, but... Mm. 
this had to be done. This guy, he has to be frozen. That's just his only redeeming element on this earth is for him to be frozen. I think I should just move you here where you won't get frozen. And you could hopefully kill this guy next turn. So we've already frozen both robots. The defense lab is one of the few buildings not in ice right now. Which sucks, but there's only two units next turn. I was really hoping one of them was going to be a Scion. Just keep in mind, um, you know, we have a freeze tank. Really, how much damage did he do? Four? Three. Kind of like myriad opportunities to do things to hurt you here. Like, I can freeze either of you. I can move everything one tile up. Nothing will die, though. I could toss you. And I could shoot this mountain. And that would kill you. We froze our science mech, huh? That wasn't a good idea. A frozen mech can repair and remove ice. Oh my god. We should have realized that about a hundred years ago. Um, can't do it. Can't do it. It freezes. It unfreezes the, the burrower. Can't be done. Gotta do that instead. Well, wait a minute. Well, no, you probably don't want to lose a building. That's fair. Yeah, let's keep it like this for now. Everything's going really well. I, I would never dare remove our freeze tank from the equation. So we have a Scion and then a uh, Blobber. The Blobbers are annoying. No doubt about it. I mean, I feel like you probably freeze the blob. You could pull the blob. There is a play like... It's extremely aggressive play. I think I do like it. It kills three enemies. It frees... Not to be confused with freezes. It frees that guy, but who cares? We block a spawn. Probably just repair. Freeze him again. And then we've got one blob to deal with next turn. And he's gonna be, like, out of position to begin with. Yeah, that was a galaxy brain turn. 100%. That means nothing. Honestly, you might as well hit me, and I'll try to get a level. Freeze tank, 100 out of 100. Please join us on every mission. It's worked out really well so far. Buildings immune seems really important, so I'll tell you what. We'll take this for now. Next reactor power goes to buildings immune. We're constantly working around that. Uh, honestly, give me the easy option right here. Hopefully. For the best conceivable chance. To uh, get a perfect island bonus and maybe somehow springboard off of that into a two island victory even though it seems unfathomable. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? That's a distance, but it's not too far. 
Wonderful. I'm like, a one-tile move might be the freeze of the century. Yep, it is. Actually, one of the easiest turns we've ever played. Mmm, except... There you go. We kind of don't have anything else to do, unfortunately. Like, it would be good if our... Um, if our other mechs had, like, a better passive turn option, but... It is what it is. Only one unit spawning next turn, which is hilarious. Um... I mean, honestly, it's like... It sucks that we don't get a repair out of it, but... So you just, you're taking a meaningless turn, which is very kind of you. I can't thank you enough, honestly. You also give me a level, which is incredible. Plus three grid defense? Eh, it's a bad roll. Well... <laughs> Yeah, you know, can't complain, right? It looks like we finished it nearly perfectly. Mind you, there are, I mean, someone's got to come through and take care of these. Let's put it this way, if global warming happens, this place is not going to be a nice place to live. But for now, it's a dream come true. Another reactor core. Plus three grid defense. Hold up, because with a reactor core... Buildings are immune to damage now. Destroy five goos and protect the corporate tower. As you might expect, you boy doesn't care about killing five goo. Of course I would love the perfect island. We don't have a good loadout for killing five goo. If they become in, in like a diamond pattern, we're pretty happy. Short of that, we're not really. Could freeze all but one unit. That includes the blob, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Is the other move better? Substantially worse. No, it's actually very similar. Um. What are you attacking? Here. I could kill you pretty good if I don't care about, you know, myself. And I think I don't in this case. Considering it's the final mission of this level. Go ahead and spawn two units. One's going to be a Scion probably. No, one's a Burrower. Ah, but there's no Shell Scion yet, so a Burrower's not the end of the world. And if we can keep a Burrower from spawning, we're going to be happy. Do you do one damage? Beautiful. So we can always block your shot. Um, or we can just murder you, uh, is the other option, I suppose. Uh... But you have to get hit, and the easiest way to hit you is here. I really don't want you breaking a Blob Lord out. I mean, I don't want you breaking anybody out. What happens if we move everybody down a top? Uh, won't work. Pretty much have to do, like, this. We'll take no damage. He's about to fall in the ice. Two units are about to spawn. 
The worst unit to spawn would be a Shell Scion. We're about to fall in the drink, too. Okay, so there's our Shell Scion. <laughs> so the Shell Scion has to go. I would like it to go. Let's put it that way. It's very easily killable. Actually, this is a fine turn. Hmm, is it? Y'all? Hear me out. Throw you. You move here. Shoot here. Push me. Eh, we're probably fine if we do that. Still gotta hit him next turn. Okay, your turn's irrelevant. You're dead. Gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably unlikely that we're gonna kill five blobs with one attack. So we're gonna end, and we didn't get a perfect island, but Mm, your boy is extremely happy with the way that this island went and the whole scheme of things. Didn't expect a fourth island to work out for us, and the first mission was bad. But it got a lot better. Nah, we don't repair. Th I mean, we do repair, but we often find, our find ourselves with nothing to do, so I really think it's just... And I know I'm probably catching some heat from people that are like, you're not buying anything. It's true. I usually just... It, it seems better to put our power into... Uh, we definitely love this, by the way. Feels better to just buy power instead, but I might be incorrect. Anyway, we're going to go for our four island victory with Steel Judoka, which is crazy to me, but hey... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps us a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.